Hello, I'm Alexander Cross, attorney. If you'd like to learn more about criminal cases here in the San Francisco Bay Area, be sure to visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Alex Cross. Um, I'm going to respond to a question here that we received. Let's see. Uh, my neighbor um, accused me for uh, selling drugs. Apparently, he received a mail at home that was actually supposed to be for me. Well, the first question I would have is, what's he doing opening your mail? That's a federal offense. Carries up to five years state prison. That's a no-no. You shouldn't, by the way, you should never, ever, ever open somebody else's mail, including uh, your adult children. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, you have kids and they're, they're over 18 and they're living in your home. No, don't be opening your mail. Don't be opening their mail. Uh, that is a federal offense, five-year state prison. But aside from that, okay, so let's say, um, okay, you got accused of uh, being in possession of or being, uh, you know, selling drugs, which would be a violation of uh, Health and Safety Code 11379 here in the state of California. That carries up to um, four years in the state prison. Now, in this case, you weren't actually in possession of the drugs. So what will probably happen is the police will probably start an investigation based on this, and they would probably uh, try to see if they could get you on a sale. Um, one of the things that happen very, very commonly is that uh, they will start looking for somebody who may have bought from you in the past. And um, let's say this person uh, may have gotten picked up for being under the influence of a controlled substance or simply being in possession of controlled substance for personal use. They'll usually go up to the person and be like, hey, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, if you get this guy to buy some of our stuff, uh, we'll let you go, or we will uh, dismiss your, your charges. And uh, generally speaking, that's generally how they get a lot of people for selling controlled substances. So you get a guy come to your house, he buys more, or he's offering to buy you more than he normally buys, and uh, he is uh, paying you with nice clean dollars. You might wanna think twice before uh, making that sale. Um, like I said, uh, in these cases, um, if they do have the evidence against you, one of the main things that we try to do is see if there's a way that we could um, get the charges reduced to uh, possession for personal use. Um, generally speaking, possession for personal use can be filed as a felony as a or as a misdemeanor regardless to wobbler. That helps people tremendously for immigration purposes. However, if it goes down as uh, possession for sale or drug trafficking, well, that's far more serious and somebody who is not a u.s citizen well it's essentially adios amigo for selling controlled substances is virtually impossible to be able to uh become u.s citizen here if you've been uh if you found if you're found guilty of that kind of offense um so remember be very very careful and always exercise your miranda rights you have the right to remain silent everything you do or say will be used against you in court you have the right to an attorney just don't say anything don't ever speak to the police remember the police, they have the right. They have the right to lie to you, to make up anything, to get information out of you. So please just be quiet. Let the evidence speak for itself. It's never gonna help to try to talk your way out of things. It just doesn't. Remember, they're experts at getting information out of people. They do this every day. You don't. And as a consequence, you will be at a severe disadvantage. So please, let the attorneys handle it. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal cases here in the San Francisco Bay Area, be sure to contact us at 1-800-862-7677. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Alex Cross. We'll see you in the next video.